Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 EVS chapter 16, a busy month. In this chapter, we are going to see about birds, nest. Um, we are going to see more uh, details about birds. So first, we are going to see a letter. This letter is written from Bal Mandir on the date 13 April 1936. So this uh, author, writer, sees sparrows, doves and sunbirds. So he sees these birds started working in pairs as they prepare to make their nest. Some of the birds have already made their nest. In some of the nest, the eggs have hatched. The parent birds are busy feeding the chicks with different kinds of insects and other things. So in, the, uh, in his courtyard, he saw a baby dove. So there is another egg in the nest, but it has not hatched yet. So first he is seeing baby dove. Then on the roadside, in between the, the stones, he saw Indian robin, uh, which has laid its eggs. So he looked through the binoculars. The author looked through the binoculars. So there he saw that the nest was made of grass. On top of the grass there were soft twigs, roots, wool, hair and cotton wool. So this is made for, uh, for its chicks. So this is how the robin makes its nest. To make the nest soft for its chicks, so the, uh, the robin, Indian robin uh, uses these materials. The robin is not like the crow. A crow's nest is made of all kinds of things, even pieces of wire and wood. So then he saw a baby bird in the robin's nest. So it was sitting with its beak wide open. The mouth was red from inside. In a little while, the robin flew to the nest and put something in the chick's open beak maybe a few small insects. So he, uh, he saw a, a robin bird feeding his chick. Next, we are going. Uh, he saw about coil. So we'll see about coil. This is a coil. This coil sings sweetly, but uh, this bird does not make its own nest. What it does is it lays eggs in a crow's nest. The crow hatches them along with its own eggs. Next he saw um, many birds. Birds are so wonderfully different. The crow builds its nest high upon a tree. The dove makes its nest among the thorns of cactus plant or a mehendi hedge. The sparrow could be found in and around our own house. So you can see uh, different birds building their nest in different places. So cow, uh, you can uh, crow, you can uh, see in tree. So dove makes its nest among the thorns, uh, thorns of a cactus plant or a mehendi hedge. So sparrow uh, can be found uh, around our own house. You can see on top of a cupboard, behind a mirror, on a ledge. Next, pigeons also make their nest like this. Often they make nest in old and deserted buildings. The barbet or coppersmith bird can be heard in the summer with its tuck 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 call. So next he sees tailor bird. Tailor bird uses its sharp beak to stitch together two leaves on a bush. It lays its eggs in the fold of the leaf that has made. This is its nest. See here you can see the tailor bird. What he used to do is with his beak, uh, it stitches two leaves on a bush. So this is its nest. Next you see sunbird. So here you can see this is sunbird. Sunbird makes a nest that hangs from a small branch of a uh, small tree or a bush. The same evening, uh, he saw sunbird's nest. 
So can you guess uh, what uh, sunbird's nest is made of? It is made up of hair, grass, thin twigs, dry leaves, cotton wool, bits of tree bark, pieces of cloth, rags and even spiders' cobwebs. Next he saw weaver bird. So this is a weaver bird. The male weaver bird makes beautifully woven nest. The female looks at all the nest and chooses the one that she likes the best and decides in which to lay her eggs. So he knows, uh, you know that all the birds are busy these days. What they were doing, they were making a nest and laying the eggs is the first step. So it is difficult task to raise the young ones in the nest which has been made with so much effort because birds have many enemies like humans and other animals too. Crows and squirrels, cats and rats, all of them wait for a chance to steal the eggs. Many times they even break the nest. So to keep oneself safe from danger, what they do is they make a nest, hatch the eggs and raise the chicks safely. All these are, are tests for every bird. So this is how uh, to get prevented from the enemies. They make nest. What it does is first uh, they make the nest. After they are uh, making nest, they hatch the eggs. And uh, this is how uh, they raise the chicks safely. So this uh, letter is written uh, from this person, Kijubai. So he narrates all these uh, birds' nest, different types of birds and its nest. Next, we'll see some question answers from this chapter. How many years ago did Kijubai write, its, write this letter? So this letter was written on uh, 1936. So it is uh, some 74 years ago. So find out how old your grandfather and grandmother were at that time. So you can check with your grandparents and write down how old were they when that at that time. So either it is three years old or five years old, you can check. Next, this letter talks about different kinds of words. So how many of these words have you seen? We saw about sparrow, Indian robin, beaver bird, dove, uh, coil. So how many uh, birds have you seen from this? So you can write robin, cuckoo, crow, dove. So you can write. How many other birds have you seen? So other than these birds specified here, if you have seen any other birds, you can write like parrot, eagle, sparrow, vulture. Have you seen a bird's nest? Where did you see it? So you can write where did you see the nest? It is in a garden or on a tree or on a... And uh, between the stones, you can write. Which is your favorite bird? Can you show your friends uh, in the class how it flies and how what uh, sound it makes? So you can write and talk about your favorite bird. So here I have written pigeon. Guess what this bird is? So a crown on the head and coins on the tail. So many shades of blue from top to tail. So the clue is it is our national bird. Which is a national bird? Peacock is our national bird. Do you know of any other bird that makes its uh, nest in a tree trunk like the barb, like the barbed nest? So you can uh, write whichever uh, bird you know which built its nest in a tree trunk. So woodpecker is other bird that makes its nest in a tree trunk like the barbed nest. Next, what you're going to do is, if there is a nest inside or around your house, you're going to look carefully at it. Observe the nest for some days and you're going to write the following things. Where is the nest made? So the nest is made on a branch of a tree. What is the nest made of? So it is made of dried leaves and straw. Is the nest ready or are the birds still making it? So you can observe and write the birds. The nest is ready. Can you recognize which bird has made the nest? Yes, crow has made the nest. What things does the, does the bird bring to the nest? 
the bird brings warm star twigs so these are so it brings so many things uh, to feed their younger ones is there any bird sitting in the nest yes one crow is sitting in the nest do you think there are any eggs in the nest so you can write whether uh, there are eggs or no eggs you can write can you hear any sound like chi 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 from the nest so you can write whether you hear or not if there are chicks in the nest what do the parent birds bring for them to eat so what uh, they bring us they bring uh, grains and insects for them to eat how many times in one hour do the birds come to the nest so the bird comes uh, to the nest two three times in one hour so after how many days did the chicks leave the nest so chicks leave the nest in two months so it depends on the bird make a picture of the nest in your notebook so you are going to draw a picture of the nest so this is how you can draw you have seen how birds use many different things to make their nest use some of these things and make a nest make a small paper bird to put in your nest so you can make a, a small nest and also make a small paper bird to put inside your nest birds use the nest only to lay their eggs after the eggs have hatched and the chicks have grown they leave the nest imagine how it would be if we also had to leave our home as soon as we learned how to walk and talk after they leave their nest different kinds of birds live at different places some on trees some near or on water and some on land other animals also have different places where they live on land under the ground in water on trees so let us have some fun what are you going to do is you are going to make three groups in the class each child must draw a picture of an animal and color it they uh, should then cut each picture out so you are going to draw a picture and then you are going to cut so we can draw any picture you want next what you are going to do is children one group will take the cutouts of the pictures of animals that live on land they should uh, then draw soil grass and some trees on a chart paper stick the pictures of the land animals at the correct places on the chart so what you are going to do is from the collected animals you are going to separate the land animals so these are the examples of land animals you are going to uh, select the land animals from the group next second group what you are going to do is you are going to take the animals that live in water so what you should do is you should color that paper with uh, blue to show water so then you can also draw water plants stones you can also stick the pictures of the animals that live on the water on the chart so you can uh, draw um, uh, you can cut uh, select um, crocodile tortoise or turtle next third group, third group will take the cutouts of the pictures of animals that live on trees uh, one child in the group will draw a brick tree on a chart paper and color it so next you are going to uh, uh, select the animals which live on trees so for example bear monkeys so whichever animals are drawn you are going to pick from it what you are going to do is next, next you are going to put all these in a chart the pictures of animals that live in land the pictures of animals that live in water the pictures of animals that live on trees so this is how you are going to separate each uh, animals list next bird feed different kinds of for different needs so first we saw different uh, kinds of birds nest now we are going to see different bird feed which are used for different needs so this is a feed of a bird so to swim in water they have this kind of uh, feed so can you guess which uh, uh, bird has this kind so it is duck so duck have this kind of beak next so these kind of feet uh, to hold the tree branches so you can uh, see a uh, crow 
or sparrow next these kind of uh, bird feed to catch the prey what it hunts so you can see these and uh, eagle next one to climb the tree so it has got uh, sharp nails to climb the tree next to walk on the land so uh, you can uh, write crane next bird beaks according to the food so first so this is sharp edged to tear and eat meat so you can uh, write uh, so like eagle to make holes in wood and tree trunk so this is a sharp edged uh, nose so with this it can make holes in wood and tree trunks next to suck nectar and uh, from flowers this, this beak is very sharp so this is another uh, bird to find insects and worms from mud and shallow water. So these kinds of uh, uh, beak to break and crush seeds. So this is uh, another uh, bird with the sharp edge to cut and eat many kinds of food. Next, you have seen that animals have different types of teeth. Cows have short front teeth for snipping grass. The teeth on the sides are large and flat for chewing grass. Cats have sharp teeth for tearing and cutting meat. Next you can see the snakes. Snakes have sharp curved teeth but they do not chew their prey. Snakes always swallow their food whole. Squirrels front teeth keep growing throughout their life. They have to keep gnawing uh, on things to keep their teeth from becoming too long. So now we are going to find out about your own teeth and write. So what is your age? How many teeth you have? Have you have any of your teeth fallen or broken? How many have fallen or how many have broken? You are going to write. How many new teeth do you have? How many of your milk teeth have fallen but uh, no new teeth have come in their place? So all these uh, details you are going to write. So first observe your teeth, ask uh, your parents or elders help and write this. Next, look at your friend's teeth. Are there different uh, kinds of teeth? So you can check with your friend's teeth. So yes, there are different kinds of teeth in my friend's mouth. So, different kinds of teeth you can see. Draw one front tooth and one back tooth in your notebook. So, this is front tooth and back tooth. Can you see any difference between these teeth? So, back tooth is broad and thick whereas front tooth is sharp and flat. So, imagine and sharp. If you did not have front teeth both top and bottom, how would you eat a go? So you are going to act and show how. So if you do not have friend teeth, so what you would uh, do? So you would eat like a old man. You have friend teeth but no teeth at the back. Someone gives you roti. So how you do you eat? So you can uh, show it how you eat. What kinds of things would you be able to eat? So if you do not have uh, teeth in your mouth you can eat only soft uh, things or drinks draw a picture in your notebook how would you look if you had no teeth so this is a funny picture you can draw in your notebook find out from old people who do not have teeth what are the different kinds of things uh, that they cannot eat so you can answer uh, they cannot eat hard things like fried grams roti chapati which is very hard they cannot eat so chapter 16, busy uh, month ends here. These are different types of birds, nest, feet, beaks. We also saw teeth. So chapter uh, 16 ends here. Hope this video is useful and understanding. Thanks for watching.